We're back with the last video on regular expression object. So let's jump right into this. In this one, we're going to talk about sub matches. So I have a basic string here with two um, dates. And say pretend that you have a huge text file or whatever, and you're always going to have this exact format. You're going to have a name, and then it's going to say was born, and then a date in this exact format. So we say some kind of capital letter followed by some lowercase letters, that's gonna be the name. And then we're gonna have a space, was, another space, born, another space, and then two digits, that's going to be uh, the month here. So if we run through this, we covered this last video, I'm just getting the values of these. Here's the first match we came across, here's the second one. Again, there can be other texts in here just to show you. So what submatches are good for is to pick specific things out of the match you currently have. So say you wanted to get all of this, right? But in this whole match, you wanted to get rid of the was born part. You just wanted to get Alex out of there and maybe the date. So what you could do is right here, use your groups to surround this whole name right here. Um, and that's going to create a sub match. So you can use parentheses to section out parts of your whole pattern that you want to grab out. So I just want to grab out the name out of this whole pattern. I also would just want to grab out the date. So let's go to the beginning of the date right here and put parentheses all around this. This is going to change my pattern, like say, but once we get into the sub matches, so match dot sub matches, then it's going to create a collection of it. Let's grab the first sub match. So again, indexes, so grabbing zero. Start this, and now you can see it just pulls out Alex. Then the next one, it just pulls out Julie. If you wanted to get the date they were born, you could put one here. So now we have the date of Alex and the date of Julie alone by itself. So again, you can just use these how you want to. Now don't worry, this only goes one level deep, so you're not gonna mess up parentheses you're using as part of your pattern. So for example, maybe this first section right here, so this section right here, we're saying two digits. Well, sometimes the month is only gonna be maybe one digit. Obviously you could just do one or two here, but say you had an or statement, digit here, and then one. So this is saying either two digits or one digit so we're using parentheses in our pattern itself but we still have these group pattern outside here and as you can see it doesn't mess up our sub matches and of course if you did want to grab each individual part the month the date and the year then just get rid of the parentheses around all of it and create parentheses around each individual section if you wanted to get the year that would be sub match index three hit start and now you can see alex 1995 Julie 2000. Because this is the third match, here's 0, 1, 2, and then here's 3. To loop through all of your sub matches, you can do another for loop. You could even have it nested in your bigger for loop so you get all of the matches as well as all of the sub matches. And then we're just going to do sub matches without picking which one we're getting. Next, and then message box. And this one, you're just going to put the name and start. And we'll see Alex, then the next one's 04, 12, 19, Julie. So, as you can see there. And of course, you don't have to loop through everything you can pick out, like say using item index. So let's pick out the second match, and then we'll go to sub matches. So let's delete all this. Now we have sub matches, so let's get rid of this next. And message box match. So now this for loop is going to loop through all these sub matches in our second match. Julie, which is 08, as you can see right here, 23 and 2000. So that is everything on regular expressions and the regular expressions object. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.